Aloha from the Ozarks. Folks, behind me I have a new repo on my lot and I want to show it to you in just a second. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you this repo. Just hang on. Here we go. This is a side porch cabin. Is what we call this style of building. Uh, and this is a 14 by 28, I believe is the size on this one. 14 by 28. Comes with two windows on the front wall and two windows on the back wall and this uh, 36 by 80 door this nine light walk-in door now this remember this is a repo it's a five-year-old repo uh, standard on all of our cabins is a porch that's four feet wide okay and let's go on inside person who had it previously did some electrical wiring um, was, the wiring was not done by Graceland it was done by whoever had this before okay and I guess what I want to talk to you about is first thing you should notice plywood walls and floors even though the building is five years old it's uh, in very good shape the, the bones are good plywood walls plywood floors they did lay down a little bit of some sort of I don't know I don't think you would really call that a tile I'm not really sure what this is but that's on the floor here yeah, I guess it is just a vinyl tile Okay, so uh, 5 8 inch thick plywood walls, 5 8 inch thick plywood floors, 2 by 4s on the walls are 16 inches apart like you would build in a home. They are premium grade lumber, that's the only kind that a Graceland ever uses. Cost them more to use premium grade lumber, but it gives you a better quality of building. And you can see this one's held up very well, it's 5 years old, it's a, it's a repo, and it's still in, in very good shape. Okay, um, the premium lumber is double reinforced every third wall stud or every four feet. So there's a double, single, single, and then a double. And that's the way we do it all the way down the walls, double reinforced every third wall stud every four feet. Uh, most other companies space their two by fours out at 24 inches apart instead of 16, so they're farther apart, so they use fewer two by fours, and a lot of them don't double reinforce. So Graceland's walls are stronger just by nature of that they have more two by fours and they're a premium grade lumber. We also double reinforce the windows, so all window frames double reinforced, all door frames also double reinforced, which means the windows and doors should stay square with the building once it's brought to your site and leveled, and that means the windows and doors should open freely like they're supposed to. So better built uh, construction and frames around windows and doors, better framed up walls, single two by four at the bottom of the walls, double two by fours at the tops of the walls. A lot of other companies don't do double two by fours at the top. So this is just a better built wall and better built roof trusses. Okay, again, two by fours, premium grade, pressure treated. And uh, we attach the roof trusses in these older buildings using these metal hurricane clips. And that allows us to tell you that there is 150 mile an hour wind gust certification on these buildings uh, because they will hold up to 435 pounds of uh, tensile strength test on, the, on those metal hurricane clips. Now we use metal hurricane screws and they hold 800 pounds of tensile strength. But, these are very, very strong. Compare that when you're shopping around to other companies that do not use metal hurricanes, clips, or screws. They just use nails, which means a strong enough gust of wind can come along and pull that roof right off of there. Okay, so while we're talking about the roof trusses, let's talk about the roof itself. That's OSB roof decking, which is standard in the roofing industry. On the outside of that decking is the metal roof. Between the metal and that decking is a moisture barrier, a tar paper. Uh, and that's a standard how we do our roofs, okay? And now at the top of the roof, at the center, you can see we have a roof vent. It's a screened in roof ridge vent and it runs all along the peak of the roof, okay? All along that peak. We also have vents that are on the sides, soffit vents, aluminum soffit vents that run all along the side, the eaves of the building on that side and on that side. And that's for improved airflow and air circulation. It's a Graceland patented exclusive. It keeps the building 10 to 15 degrees cooler in the hot, humid summertime extreme temperatures. Other companies don't have that kind of ventilation system. They don't have the patent. Graceland does. Okay, so it really does make a huge difference in the summertime. Um, and then, let's see here. What else? Oh, I want to talk about the floors. Floors are 5 8 inch plywood floors. They're tongue and groove, so the slabs are interlocked with each other. Um, and underneath the plywood floors, we use 2 by 6 floor joists. A lot of other companies use 2 by 4s, just like their wall studs are 2 by 4s. But we use 2 by 6s in the floors. Okay, and they are 16 inches apart which is standard for us, uh, for Graceland, okay? So they're very, very good, strong, sturdy, uh, solid subfloor, okay? Now let's see, what else shall I talk about to you? Uh, this building uh, has four windows, like I said, two by three single pane windows, one, two, three, four. 
Um, your space on the inside, remember that, I told you it's a 14 by 28. That is measured from eave to eave. So there's an overhang of an eave of about, I don't know, five to six inches on that side. There's an overhang over on that side. We measure them that way because the Department of Transportation requires those measurements when we bring them down the highway, down the road to anybody. So we don't measure the interior dimensions of the building. We measure the exterior dimensions, and that's standard in the industry. Everybody who sells portable buildings measures them that way, okay? So keep that in mind. Your interior width is definitely not 14 wide because don't forget, we got a porch out there that's part of that 14 wide, okay? So yeah, you're less than 10 feet of width in here, okay? Now, let's see what else to talk about. Oh, this building, it's a repo. So um, depending on when you're watching this video, and I just got it in today, and this is near the end of September, uh, repos tend to sell pretty quickly. So I'll, you know, I would tell you, hop on this as quickly as possible if you have any interest at all. Uh, it will be a cash sale, meaning you can use cash, check, or charge, you know, credit card. But it will not be offered as a rent to own. So sorry if that was something you were interested in doing was rent to own, but we just got it back from a rent to own, and we're not going to put it back on rent to own. Uh, we're going to sell this as a cash sale. All right. So rent to own is not available. We do have different offers that run depending on what month it is. There may be different specials that uh, discounts that Graceland has available. So you should check with me depending on when you are looking at buying this thing. But probably it's going to sell within the next few weeks. Uh, a lot of times repos like this do sell off of my lot within two to three weeks. So just uh, just warn you of that. So I'll let you know if you're interested, you better jump on it. Okay. Or if you know somebody that might be interested in this, uh, you tell them to look at this and, and take make an offer to me because it's probably going to be gone relatively quickly. Okay. Um, free delivery within 50 miles of my lot. So free delivery within 50 miles means if you're beyond 50 miles, we're going to charge mileage. Uh, and that's after the first 50 miles. Okay. So keep that in mind. We'll set it up on blocks that you provide. You provide the concrete blocks. We'll set it up and level the building. We'll attempt to anchor it into the ground if your ground is suitable for anchoring and if you want it to be anchored into the ground, okay? We can only lift the building so high off the ground before we'll, we can't anchor it anymore, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, military discount. We always offer a military discount on any building that we sell, so ask me about that if you're a military, uh, current, you know, active duty, or veteran, and we thank you for your service. I guess that's really all I can tell you about this repo. So if you're interested in a, a repo like this, you better jump on it. Aloha from the Ozarks.